Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks Video Tutorial Part 35. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to access a remote database from a uh, client machine. This slide talks about the problem. The problem is to access a remote DB2 database from a client machine. Before getting into the solution, let me describe how is the setup and the environment. So we have server A, which is going to be the DB2 server. So this has uh, this machine has db2 server software installed and instance and databases are all uh, configured and created here okay this is the uh, main db2 server to which applications are going to connect and in server a we have to configure db2 so that it is running on a specific tcp ip port this is very essential uh, because the client will be using the tcp ip port for communication on uh, the db2 server so you have to enable the TCP IP communication manager on server A and in server B which is the client machine we need to install uh, a software DB2 runtime client software actually various DB2 client softwares are available if your uh, application is a Java application you can use the JDBC client software if it is a CLI or ODBC application you can use the CLI ODBC client software and uh, runtime client is nothing but it has functionality of both the JDBC client and the CLA ODBC client along with that it has certain tools like DB2 command line processor tool is available and you can execute certain administration commands from the runtime client uh, so uh, that is the DB2 runtime client if you want a full client version like IBM DB2 data server client software so that is also available uh, which will have some more additional GUI based tools for example like configuration assistant like that so the choice is basically what is the type of application, what kind of activity you want to do using that uh, particular client software is what uh, uh, you can decide on. So for this uh, demonstration, I'll be using DB2 runtime client software. It has already been installed in server B, like uh, uh, in the server B. From server B, after the setup is uh, done like this with all the softwares that are required, from server B, we can able to access DB2 database on server A. But for that, we need uh, two more steps. So that is this solution slide talks about. So two more steps needs to be done in server B. First, we, in server B, we have to identify like to which DB2 server and port number we need to communicate. So that is actually identified by either host name and IP address. So you can identify the DB2 server with host name and IP address and uh, uh, particular port number so that can be done using the uh, command catalog tcp ip node node name remote host name server instance name so instead of host name you can give ip address as well instead of instance name you can give port number as well uh, personally i prefer the host name and instance name method because if you catalog like this even on the server side if the host name changes or the port number changes we do not need to uncatalog no this particular node and recatalog it so that's the advantage with it uh, after cataloging the tcp ip node you have to update the services file which contains the mapping for for this particular instance name there is the port number similarly you have to update the hosts file with host name and ip address so that's going to map the host name and ip address and the second step is to identify the database under a node so the first step will identify the instance the second step will identify the database under a node so for that you need to use the command catalog database db name at node node name so once the catalog is done uh, from server b you can use the commands attached to node name user username using password that is to attach to an instance if you want to connect to database you can say connect to db name user username using password so let's go quickly uh, into few examples here <clears throat> so here I have uh, this is one uh, particular machine this will uh, uh, serve as server A for us Ubuntu hyphen PC so this has a DB2 system controller process already running here under DB2 INST1 so DB2 INST1 is my instance and it is up and running it has a database test under it and the service name DB CFG parameter is DB2 C underscore DB2 INST1 and you can see in the output of the etc services file uh, i have given grep hi grep iphone hi i db2 inst1 so it is listening on port 50000 and the host name is ubuntu pc and we also need to look at 
the IF config, the IP address, right? So that is 192.168.56.1. So in this particular IP address, at the port number 50,000, I have my DB2 uh, instance running, uh, which is having the database test. So this is the server A is set up. Okay. Now in server B, you can see that the host name is Ubuntu hyphen VM. So this is a virtual machine. I'm using this Oracle VM VirtualBox product for simulating a virtual machine. And uh, this particular thing again has its own IP address 10.0.2.15. And the DB2 client software. So you can see that IBM data server runtime client software 10.1 uh, fixpack 3 is already installed and the install path is opt ibm db2 b 10.1 so the runtime client alone is installed here so i have access to the db2 clp processor tool okay so this is that so now here if you say db2 list node directory there is nothing so we have to catalog a node first similarly list db directory nothing is available so first we need to catalog a node so db2 catalog node catalog tcp ip node node name i am giving as server a <coughs> catalog tcp ip node node name remote server a the host name i am giving and server port number so instead of port number i'm going to say db2 inst1 underscore sa like that okay so after this i need to catalog db db name is test as test underscore sa like that i am cataloging at node node name is server a and after this i need to look in the etc hosts file so i need to provide the mapping right so here you can see 192.168.56.1 is mapped with server a already okay and after that services file i need to give the mapping for db2 inst1 underscore sa right so you can see that db2 underscore inst1 underscore sa is mapped with 50,000. okay so which means for the IP address 192.168.56.1, uh, host name is server A and uh, the instance name is 50,000. INST1 underscore SA is pointing to 50,000. So that's how we have cataloged also. Now you can say list node directory, which will list the uh, node that is configured, catalog, list DB directory, will list you the this thing. So you can now attach to server A user db2 inst1 using db2 inst1 okay so the instance attachment should be successful then you can detach from the instance if you want you can connect also db2 connect to test underscore sa user db2 inst1 using db2 inst1 okay so this is how you can uh, catalog the node, catalog the database, update the service file and the host file and you can attach to the instance or connect to the database. So once the connection to the database is established, I will show you here the connection also at the server side. I can say db2 list applications command. Okay. You will find that there is one connection that is made uh, to this database. It is from the IP address 10.0.2.15, which I have already shown here in the beginning, right? Okay, so now I can connect reset from here. So the application will go away now. Actually, if you see here, yeah, okay, it's disconnected. And you can uncatalog also, uncatalog db, db name. Similarly, you can uncatalog node also and catalog node node name that's it it's very simple so using the runtime client software you can make connections to the remote database using the catalog node and the catalog database command 
uh, appropriately uh, that's it in this video tutorial thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel db2 lw academy see you in the next video tutorial thanks bye bye